Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to explain about Docker and the uh, registry server. And based on the three previous videos where you have guided from the beginning to starting the, uh, the registry server and then based on the UI I will help you to create your own um, Docker Compose file. And remember this file can be downloaded on my GitHub uh, um, account and the link will be below in the in the description field. First we want to say we want uh, to define the version and we want to use the version uh, 3.7 and then we go for the service and this should be docker rig uh, the host and then we want one more say docker registry host web UI the two services we want to do and create the easy one will be image registry and then we want to bind for ports should be 5000 so we can um, pull it uh, push uh, images to it and then we bind it for the networks and we call it docker registry that's the the host for the docker registry uh, so, and then we want the image, the image array, and should be the information about the, the the web UI, and this should be this one, and then we want the port numbers here should be eighty eighty to eighty, and network should be. The Docker network again, Docker registry, and then we want to bind for the networks here to say uh, Docker registry uh, without this one. Right now, it's probably want to spin up, but we want uh, environments variables here. And like we want before, we want, whoops, rigs to host and the port number. And the port number should be 5000 and the rigs to host should be the service up here. And then if we're going for the terminal, and share this and say docker compose up okay then we have a little mistake here let's go in back and fix it it's because we need a tab here so let's go in back for the terminal one more up and then it should be spinned up as we want and I can already see the mistake here. I have um, not defined the version 2 here so it's taking down the wrong image and let's do it again and we have two up here. Let's go in for this one and browse and it's gone. Now we want to pull uh, the images so let's go up here to say docker push and going back and you can see we have nginx here if I'm going for the terminal again and kill it now it's down it's going to take a little bit and you say down it's meaning we destroy the container and we say up again you will discover the nginx will be uh, gone and to prevent this so you can upgrade your registry server if you want and keep the data then we need to bind the volume and I will show how we do this so let's going back for the editor and then we're going for the docker registry host and type uh, below below the post that's fine and we type volumes and 
what we want to do here is say data uh, registry, registry data, yeah. And then we want to bind it for, for the lib, raw lib registry. And then we can go in back and respin it up and say spin it up. If you're running on Windows, you probably want some uh, password issues and something like that. If you're running on Mac on the Windows, you will discover nothing. I will try to rerun this to close it down. And it's shutting down just a minute. Say down. It's closing it up. And then we say up. And it should giving me some. Here we go. That's perfect. And then we are up back and running here. Everything is running perfect. Then we're going for this one and push it one more time. Going for the editor, you can see here we have a Docker and registry version 2. And we have everything down here. We're going for the browser and we reload. And we have everything. So let's try just for fun. And going back to kill it down here and we saying down to destroy the container as you can see here we still have the data so if we go back and say dog compose up it should spin everything back fine I run it here and we have it that's how you can use the, the Docker Compose to build your own registry server. And I hope you really enjoy this video. I do. And remember you can download the Compose script on my GitHub uh, 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 page and the link will be in below and you are welcome to follow me on GitHub. I hope you want to subscribe my channel to get more videos about the Docker and everything I want to create and publish on YouTube. And if you have any questions, please make them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. And I want to hope you want to add it to your playlist and share it with your friends. And of course, if you like this video, hit the like button. Thank you so much and I hope you want to, to subscribe my channel. Bye bye.